Yo, this is Hitano Play, Saiken and Setsu 3. Last time, we take, took Team C into the Mana Holy Land and we saw what happened. So the Corn and the Death Jester are gone. They're history. The Death Jester is gone in history. Did I say the Death Jester twice there? Or... Okay, so Corn and Dark Shonite are history. Death Jester is history. It was Bijeo and Jagan that kidnapped the fairy. This time. And now they want to send us to Navarre to get the fairy back, as long as we give them the Mana Sword. We don't want to do it, but we have no choice. The Mana Goddess herself asked us to rescue the fairy, so that means our next destination will be the Sand Kingdom of Navarre. Now, we haven't been there in a while. The last time we were there, we had a little trip when we went to get Salamando, but the last time we were in the action of our kingdom, that was when we got... Um, to see what happened in the storyline of Hawk. Sand Fortress Navarre. It opens up. Again, if you play as Duran or Angela or Kevin or Kali, this door will be shut forever. There's no way to enter the place again. Of course, this place has enemies too, and this place has ninjas, and they are dangerous. Just like with Carly and Kevin uh, part, you want to skip these enemies. Don't fight them head on. That is disaster for you. Circuits. <laughs> oh! Damn it. They're really deadly. I can't really remember the path there. I really hate Navarre. Get away from us. Should maybe have healed. Oh, we can heal here. Oh, I have port oils here, that's good. Um, even though we don't really need to, but since the Ron is our healer, he should have the most spirit, so let's heal ourselves with full party healing. Yeah, that's better. Damn it, sorry. It's always locked. You can't enter from the front side, so you have to go around to get to Bijeo and Jagan, who has the fairy captive. So if you play as Kevin, I mean if you play as Hawk or as Lise, then you're forced to go in this direction. You're forced to go here to get the fairy back. This only happens if you play as Hawk or Lise. If you play as uh, someone else, you will go other places. If you play Duran or Angela, you'll go to Altina. If you play as uh, Kevin or Kali, you have to go to the Beast Kingdom. I think I'm beating now. I just want to skip the enemies because they're too dangerous for us to take care of. Gotta heal. Ah, the wrong person to heal with, but that's fine. I think. Yeah, actually, better to heal with least. She has more spirit. This is the wrong direction, I think. I think this is the wrong place to go. No, it's right, actually. Never mind. Welcome, Lise. Now, hand over the sword and I'll return the fairy. You, you coward. I'll never forgive you for this. Now, now, Lise. Let's not be rude. Jagan will be taking the sword now. Move so much as an inch, and the fairy dies. We have no choice, we have to hand over the mana sword. <laughs> so this is it. The Dark Prince can now return to this land. What? The sword! Getting heavy! Ugh. The Holy Sword will never serve your evil intentions. Give it up! Do you look like I was born yesterday? Yep. Just like Dark Knight and Heath. And Bijou. The Sword of Mana is a mirror which reflects its owner's soul. It can be good or evil. By the power of our Dark Prince, it will become a Sword of Darkness. Isn't that right, Jagan? Haha, <laughs> it is done. The Sword of Mana now yields to my grip. It is now the instrument of the Dark Prince and the Underworld. What? I knew you could do it. 
Now, to release the God Beast and summon the Dark Prince. Just think, soon the demons will once again inhabit this world! <laughs> Let it be done! No, this can't be happening! I... I'm sorry. Fairy, no. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have walked into the trap. They're releasing the god beast now. Is there anything we can do? The god beast is already begun. I'm going to check on the mana stones. Close your eyes. Oh boy, we really screwed up, didn't we? But don't think that we messed up something in this though. We are supposed to get the god beast released. That's the whole point of the storyline. It's not game over yet. You thought things would be over now? No, now things are about to become very interesting. Things are about to become dangerous. The God Beasts have a legend that they are some of the most powerful enemies that exist. And now they're all breaking out of their prisons in the Mana Stones. This means that we have a very, very tough business to do. You see here, they break apart. Oh, the cringing sound. This is just terrible. Terrible, terrible! Ah, the light! And the mana stone is gone. Uh oh, we are in trouble! The god beasts have revived! Each one controls a different element! If they combine their powers, we'll never be able to stop them! We have to stop them now while they're still vulnerable! Let's hurry to the Mana Stones! So, there we go. It doesn't matter if you play as Duran, Angela, Kevin or Carly, Hawk or Lise. You will see the return of the Seven God Beasts. But as you can see, all of the characters that are twinned together, they have different adversaries. Where's Duran or Angela? It is Corrin and Dark Shanai that keeps snap the fairy at the Mana Holy Land. You go to Altina and they will release the God Beasts. If you play as Kevin or Carly, it is Death Jester and Heat of all people who are the enemies. And they release the God Beasts too. And we have to go and clean up the mess. And as we just saw now, with Hawk and Lise, it is Bejeo and Jagan that becomes our main enemies. Now, we are over the 8 minutes in this video, so that's kind of short. So I want to give you guys a little teaser. Yeah, a little teaser what's going to happen when we are done with the God Beast, actually. I'm not going to say much about it, but let's see, what is this place? Glass Desert. And this place? Dragon's Hole. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> I won't really say much more than that. And what about this place? Cave of Darkness? And this place? Dark Castle? Hmm. And what about this place? In City Padan. Ooh. Jungle of Illusion? And what's that place? Mirage Palace? Hmm. I wonder. I'm not going to spoil more than that, but each of these places are important, very important, as we go through the God Beasts. I won't say more than that, but yes, they are important for sure. So this means that now we have give, I've given you the insight of what happens for all the three storylines. After you got the 8 Mana Spirits, you get Flamey and you travel to Mana Holy Land. Now you've seen all the three different POVs of Duran and Angela in terms of Korn and Darshanite being our enemies. What happens if you have Kevin and Carly and you see Death Jester and Heat becoming our main enemies. And of course now with Lise and Hawk that Bijeo and Jagan are our main enemies. 
all of them releasing the god beasts and then disappearing. This means that now we have to clean up a mess and save the world from disaster, and then we have to finish it with them. We have to deal with them and be done. So yeah, a lot of things are resting on our hands. The world is needing our help. And this concludes storyline C. And this means we are finally done with all the three storylines. In our next part, we're gonna go with the God Beasts. Now, as I said in uh, 23A, I have already decided the God Beast order that I will do. So, in the next part, we will go and kill the Wind God Beast in Roland, that is located here. For God Beast number two, I will go to the Moonlight Forest and fight the God Beast of the Moon in the Moon Reading tower. For God Beast number 3, we're gonna head to a new place, the Ancient Ruins of Light, and fight the God Beast of Light. Then, we're gonna go to the Valley of Flames and fight the God Beast of Fire. Then we're gonna go to another place we haven't been before, to a place that wasn't originally possible to go by land. We're gonna go to the Forest of Wonder and fight the God Beast of Wood. Then we're gonna go to the southwest of Forcina. We're gonna head to around this place. Just say I have Mulberry Highlands and Clad the Earth, but this place is actually called Gemstone Valley. And finally, we will go to here and finish it all. The Labyrinth of the Ice Walls and the God Beast of Water. After that, well, we will see when we get to that. Because storyline takes a big plot twist again once we dealt with the God Beast. But now the God Beast awaits us. And as I said before, I will say it again. The order of the God Beast is what I have decided for myself. You can do the God Beast order in any order you want. If you want to do wood first and light second and earth third, for example, you can do that. If you want to do wind last instead of first, like I will do, you can do that as well. It's all up to you. In the end, to progress in this game, you must take out all the seven god beasts, and that will not be easy. Remember, every time a god beast they are beaten, the other ones will gain levels and become stronger. So you need to make sure you're leveled for this. The first god beast enemies are on level 28. So if you are as me and are under leveled, then it's going to be a bit hard. So you might actually want to spend some time to level for these next few god beasts. You might actually end up doing your second class change. If we beat the last god beast, but you also might actually be level doing the last change after that. This concludes the split playthroughs. The main storyline continues, but don't fret, the split storylines will return after we have dealt with the god beast and something else. Then there will be split playthroughs again, and then things will become much more interesting than they just happen now. If you think this one was already intense, just wait, things are about to become much more intense than all of this. That concludes number 23C. Next part is 24, and we're gonna fight the God Beast of Wind. If you have any feedback on my Let's Play or want to discuss this game, leave a comment below this video. If you wanna be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just wanna say thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time as we're gonna take on the God Beasts.